when an object is heated the heat energy is transferred from place to place in three different ways which are conduction convection and radiation if it is a solid the heat is transferred by conduction in fluids heat is transferred by convection and in empty space heat is transferred through radiation conduction occurs between objects that are in contact for example a tea kettle on a burner receives heat by conduction since the heating coil of the burner is in contact with the bottom of the kettle the atoms that are vibrating in the object at higher temperature collide with atoms in the object at lower temperature resulting in a net transfer of energy to the colder object in conduction energy flows through a material but the material itself does not move whereas in convection the material itself moves from one place to another for example if your mom has put an utensil with water on the stove it gets heated right but how and why here's the answer when she is boiling the water the temperature of molecules within the water increases and they slowly begin to move upwards at a rapid rate these molecules produce kinetic energy the hot water molecules become less dense and they rise above the denser cooler molecules convection transports energy through the movement of matter this movement is caused by thermal expansion and convection currents are created thus convection can occur only in fluids that is in liquids and gases not in solids air is a poor conductor of heat but it can easily flow and carry heat by convection the heated air is less dense than cooler air so it rises up carrying heat with it meanwhile cooler air that is more dense sinks toward the ground this is what happens at the sea shore during the day air coming off the ocean is heated as it passes over the warm ground on the shore the heated air rises and expands the expansion cools the air it becomes more dense and falls back down this cycle sets up a convection current that brings cool breezes from the sea to the shore the river circulation occurs at night when the land is cold and the sea is warmer retaining heat absorbed during the day now before moving towards radiation we need to know a little about electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves are a form of energy waves that have both an electric and magnetic field they are classified according to their frequency the different types of waves have different uses and functions in our everyday lives radio waves infrared rays visible light ultraviolet rays x rays and gamma rays are all types of electromagnetic radiation radio waves have the longest wavelength and gamma rays have the shortest wavelength and the most important of these is visible light which enables us to see radiative heat flow involves energy carried by electromagnetic radiation and involves two objects which might be the sun and a person on the earth radiation can travel through empty space or vacuum that is why we can still feel heat from the sun even though it is about 152 million kilometer away from earth electromagnetic radiation from the sun is absorbed by a person on the earth the person also emits radiation so there is a flow of energy in both directions from the sun to the person and from the person to the sun